what's going on? This is Game of Doc 1906 coming today with another video. Man, I'm just going to do a little rant today. I, I think I just got frustrated over the weekend with this game and I just didn't know what else to do. I was like, man, I don't know what Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, the, the United States Postal Service, I don't know what any of these people are doing to this game, man. It is driving me crazy. And I think a lot of us have felt this, uh, especially with the way this game is going and the way that it doesn't feel like Call of Duty. Uh, it doesn't feel like a, a, a rusher, runner game. It feels like it's catering to, to campers. Uh, and I don't know why. Like, campers are the... Or, or, or like the 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 the, uh, the antichrist, I think. Uh, at times, <laughs> I'm just joking. But the thing is, is that they make the game slow. And the thing is, is that what they did, I think, after Black Ops Three and World War Two and Black Ops Four, I, I think all of the campers made a union and got together and said, "Hey, we're gonna uh, petition uh, Activision and make it where we can." Uh, have a game that we can play and I swear they are just literally sitting in corners I mean you can't even get in the corner before the game starts it's like as soon as you get around a corner there's somebody standing or sitting right there waiting to shoot you and it's just killing me but like it is killing me like I've been playing this game for a long time I don't understand it and there are a lot of different people going on rants about this but and there's so many different things that we could rant about but I think we are going to just focus on a few here and um, and just kind of y'all let me know if, what y'all think, too, in the comments, because it, this is just frustrating, frustrating me to death. I'm usually optimistic and, and I don't understand uh, how they have driven me to this point. So the, the first thing is the skill based matchmaking. Guys, I don't know if they were just sitting there in a the meeting one day and said, hey, let's just make it easy for new players because that's what it's seemingly doing. I've seen players who are actually really good at, at not necessarily, not even just Call of Duty, but every kind of first person shooter and who are having a difficult time with this. You can't even make good plays because it caters to campers who will break up streaks. You can't even get a streak. Like there are people who seem to be getting streaks every five seconds, but then when I try to get a streak, I can't get a streak. Uh, it, it's just driving me crazy. Fortunately, on this one, I was able to get a veto, veto jet, I think. I got first place, but still, this is like rare. So, and I just don't understand what was the point of them even considering this. Skill-based matchmaking was something that they thought of doing and everybody hated it in World War II. Oh, and I think they did, even did it in Black Ops 4. But I know in World War II they were thinking about doing it, and everybody said, forget, nobody wants that. If you're new to the game, guess what? You're going to get your butt whooped. If you're experienced, you're still going to get your butt whooped. But most of the time, you're going to win. And if you wanted a weapon, and you wanted to get better at the game, and you wanted your weapon to aim better, guess what? You, you couldn't buy a... Um, you couldn't buy the part, you had to earn it. You had to grind it out until you got that particular um, uh, thing on the, on the, uh, or attachment on the weapon that made it more stable. So I don't know. And what in the world is up with this possible hitbox um, manipulation that they're doing where the experienced players will get um, dinged for being less accurate and the noobs will uh, be rewarded for being less accurate. Come on, if that's true, I'm playing Fortnite, and I already did it one day this weekend <laughs> because I'm just tired of it. I like I like the other video games too, so I was like, man, forget this. Um, at least with Fortnite, they kind of were like, hey, we we're here to take your money. Modern Warfare, is basically pretending to not take your money or something. I don't know, but either way, the next thing that's bothering me is the stupid thing that they came up with called a battle pass. I thought it was going to be something like a season pass. It has nothing to do with that. Basically, you have COD points, you can get stuff, and it basically does nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. And that's the frustrating part. It absolutely 
doesn't help you one bit. I don't see the point. You get some COD points, you might get some attachments or you get a gun that's got some attachments, which basically is saying you're getting a gun for money with attachments and that attachment is making you better. So you're paying to be better. I mean, am I wrong? If I am wrong, y'all let me know. And I don't understand what in the point, why in the world, what's the point of, I'm sorry, I'm ranting and rambling, but what is the point of the maps being so big? We can't even find anybody to kill. I want to kill people on this map, on these games. That's the whole point. We want to come home after work and beat up on noobs. That's what we want to do, especially for us cowboys, you know. And I, I just don't understand it. It's like, guys, if you want to really make this game better, listen, all you got to do, there are only a few tweaks that need to be done. You gotta take out skill-based matchmaking to this or turn it down. Battle pass, you can keep it there if you want to, but you gotta make it where people want to or, or feel like they're getting better at the game. Put the ranking system back. Put the prestige levels back. Because I love going in lobbies when or I hated going in lobbies, especially and they had a lot of you know, uh, master prestige guys, it would freak you out. Cause if you want a master prestige, you felt intimidated, but that was part of the experience. People, the, the experience is to get better and to like, Hey, one day I'm going to be smacking people upside the head too. So, you know, I, and, and the next thing, and this is the last thing I promise, but what in the world, what's up with the mini map? Can we fix the mini map? You want a mini map that basically will not allow us to see when people are shooting because you want, you don't want people to feel hunted. This is a game about war and being hunted and being a hunter. Fix it, please. But that's the end of my rant for today. This is Game of Doc 1906. And if you can hit the like button, Subscribe for me, and we're going to holler at you later. Peace.